crazy. But uh, yeah. let's see how this match goes. I, immediately, I, of course, Roy can kill Puff really uh, early, but it's not that easy to kill oh, Puff jumps as Roy. You know what I mean? Yep. Look at that. A lot of pound pressure uh, from Hbox already. Oh, <laughs> that's a death. Hbox making Puff look godlike <laughs> in the first 10 <laughs> seconds of a match. Damn. Yeah, man, this guy, I'm telling you, he knows how to hit that rest really consistently. And uh, again, the pound is very good. Okay. I know, she's got the- Oh, 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 oh man. The parry into rest immediately. Uh, yep, this guy, all right, I'm picking up pump. Uh, it's <laughs> all right, I'm done not playing pump. This is, uh, this is a lot, this is pretty cool. I'm into this. Yeah. Aatrox makes the character look very fun, but I can yeah, tell you, it's not easy at all. <laughs> no, it isn't. No. Up air? Okay, that's gonna do it. Alright. Redline, just a jab back air away from tying with up. Joke. Oh, oh. <laughs> Does he have the reverse up B thing? Uh, what do you mean? You know, Melee, he kills Puff instantly with reverse oh, up Oh, right, B? yeah. I, I don't, have not seen it in a Ultimate at all. When you, I was gonna oh, say, no. Like, oh, no. Call that. Field, it, it's still active though. Yeah, I'm gonna call that a little bit of matchup finish journey. Um, when you see rest like that, or sorry, a sing like that, you actually have to to be safe. You might as well just shield the whole thing. You know, a lot she of people really don't know end lag afterwards though. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people just don't know when it ends, so they just like, okay, I shield it long enough. It should be over, right? So or they treat it like um. What's the move that you shield it once and it's just gone? Like, roller is kind of that way. Like, you shield it once, you can drop shield and then hit inkling. Right? Yeah. It's still kind of active. Yeah, he is. He's, he's legitimately good at this game now. He's had the time to put in. Mm hmm. It's interesting to see, you know, uh, one of the best melee players do so well in this game. You know? Especially with a cool. character we don't see that much. At all. You know, it probably had zero representation as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, there's a few. I I know Base Mage does really well with Puff as well, and maybe like some Japanese Puffs. But like, I think Hbox is the uh, in the forefront of Puff right now, especially online. Well, yeah, and uh, at Frostbite, he did the VR fan. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, okay. Oh. Very got, yeah, yep. That's a uh, that's another thing you gotta worry about when you're playing character like Roy. If you don't mix up your timings, you're gonna like do your aerial. It's not that hard to just get a out of shield punish, you know. Mm -hmm. Especially the way that Hbox is playing. But nice carries on a pound. It's probably the best thing to do against it because it does so much shield damage. Yeah, it's like you need to move away from it. Oh, Jesus! I think we let that go. That was definitely a spot. We should just let it go a little bit early. But red line sometimes a life there with this thing. A B. I don't know. Can we go for the up air again for the KO? Yep. Hbox, do that. Shield poke. Uh, yep. yep. Now, every time I see Hbox get a parry, now I'm scared of the rest. <laughs> yeah. At 77. Oh, you're for the jab reset. There you go. Okay. Yep. Dash attack gonna do it. It's shot by Redline. Yeah. Nice job timing the dash attack not to get hit by the scene again. Okay. Nice. Gavin aerials, that's like the Roy bread and butter. Oh, he tried to get a falling aerial there, got intercepted. Just like getting the give attack too. That uh, tech chase sinking is also really scary on the platform. Okay, fourth throw. Oh. What the <laughs> What is going on right now? I think I absolutely would have done a kill. Parry up. Ah, we can get forward smash with a lot of end lag on that. Okay, neutral B. The red guy playing this a lot cleaner now. I like this. Now he's playing yeah. great. Uh, oh, he's too early. Oh, Hbox flubbing that punish there. He's going up a couple times here. Let's show it though. Oh, oh. Okay, all right, that's enough. It works. If it works, it works, right? Okay, Hbox trying to stall a little bit here in the air. Oh my god, the dash tag came back from very active. Ooh, these uppies are a little too much. I think Hbox is going to wait on an option from him and then punish him and take the stock. Like, I'm pretty sure he's going to try to do it. Void it out. We're just gonna try to up or something. That's why he's just moving around him in the air like that. Or tilt. Up throw. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, okay, well, other, the game. Yeah, other characters might not have killed it that for scene with the rage, but G plus super light. Nice. Get the extra damage with the downwards variation. Yeah, double the, This is definitely where Puff struggles. So trying to approach, trying to find a way in. Redline, he's playing this very well because Hbox is approaching, Redline taking one step back and just swinging. So I'd like to see how that game kind of evolves. Uh, closing out here game two, and if we go to game three, then that's the game for Hbox, if we see him take a stock with a back there one time, he do it a million times. Oh, right there, the kid's in bed. Oh, down here, look for the grab. Let's oh. Jeez. They don't call him Clutch Box for nothing, yeah, man. That's all I it, gotta it, say. It, it, it's definitely a fly in this game, too. Up here, though, Redline in a good spot to get this game. Puff's gotta land. Yeah, that's alright. What? These, these random neutral beats uh, from Redline are insane. <laughs> oh, up here, oh. connect on the wheel. It's unfortunate. Ooh! A crab, okay. Oh, up here, oh. caught him. <laughs> He's yeah, using let it rip. Mm -hmm. He's using neutral being up a lot because obviously Puff is just gonna jump in that little, you know, kind of 45 degree angle zone of Puff Roy. That's gonna be it. That red line, one one. That was. I'm gonna tear around two sides because game one was like a poop wash. You know, yeah, sorry, that was that. That, that was, was hard a to watch. game one was a three stock, right? Yes. Uh, All yeah. right, maybe it was two. Maybe it was two stock because he got the up air kill, I think. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah I, right, I think. Right. But uh, I like that he recognized that he had to go for a jab up there to connect at that percent. And on like a floaty character like Jigglypuff. Mm. But uh, yeah, good stuff, man. Taking the game, bringing it to game three. Especially, like you said, after how down the first game was. Huge, dude. I think a lot of it is he just started... Honestly, and I feel like this is the answer most of the time, is if you're getting that molly wop, that means you're approaching or you're swinging in bad ways, so just stop doing that, and it's going to help with your gameplay a lot, which we saw. And he learned, too. Like, he punished the sing, which he wasn't able to do uh, game one. Like, he, he got a huge punish instead. What was the other one, too? He got hit. There were a couple other situations where in game one he, where he just got caught. Hard. Yeah, he was also uh, falling into Xbox with, like, these kind of predictable timings on his aerials, and he was just getting, like, parry yeah. rests, like, you know, but uh, yeah, changing that up, definitely what you want to see. Especially when you find a character like Jigglypuff, I feel like the way she works in general kind of... It can frustrate people into swinging in bad spots just because you want to hit her so bad. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. do, do you know the stage list for this? I'm assuming since it's like East Coast. Like pretty Dream. standard, I guess. We haven't seen anything too crazy, right? Yeah, too not yet. Crazy, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. No, no, why that? Okay. Cool. All right. That's always good news. All right, man. Game, big game three here. Red line with his Roy. Going up against Hbox with the pump. Maybe FD is uh, Hbox's last twist here. Nice. Yeah, you gotta, I think the, the pounds were the thing that really destroyed game one. And now they're happening again here in game three. Red line's got to shut them down. Just wait them out, just like that. Take a step back and then punish them. He's mm -hmm. trying to. He's trying to, for sure. Yeah, pound just gets so much reward uh, when it hits. It leads to a, a lot of the pups' aerials. Mm -hmm. Instead of tech chases too. Yeah, a huge, a huge thing here too is that um, when you're playing against Puff, I think the mental war against yourself is huge. Because like, yeah, it's 66 to 76, but technically Puff has the lead. But Puff is still light, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Oh, he doubled up early. He should carry it. Ooh, age box. Thinking uh, he had like a roll in there. Yeah. A pretty big bet, especially when you're at Kilmer Sim with Jigglypuff. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that was a misinput or something too, or, or I don't know. That's definitely very strange uh, to be from Hbox, but Redline. Oh, big oh. hey, hey, trade there. Nice job with the offstage snare, I'm sure, is what that was. It was way too quick to see. Mm -hmm. Lingering hitbox, really good for uh, catching. Like, Not the best recovery from Roy, so it's not a bad idea to go for that, Jimmy. Okay, forward throw. Wow, that, has, that is one of the buffs. I forgot about that. It was just, you got a forward throw that just like, kills the Belmont straight up. Like, just, oh, no. Yeah, if you DI so it wrong, if you DI it wrong, it's just a zero. <laughs> 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 I 
Again, the Xbox trying to get like a roll in. Gotta watch it. It's always scary to do that because he's very good at reacting and getting like the rest. Mm -hmm. Oh, watch that back here. These neutral bees are so good, actually. Like, oh, oh my god, man. and that's the very punish you wanted to see from Redline. Parry to F smash. He can do a parry to up you a lot, which is fine. He's getting the big cash up there. Oh, hi, nice job, boy. He said you're not going to get through that in air again. Nice job by Redline on the adjustment. I don't know if he's in the Discord getting tips from everybody, but like, yeah, he's making adjustments very quickly. Yeah, he's oh, yeah. Doing that. He's making adjustments very quickly. Aaron's going to oh. do it. Yeah, ne neutral air has definitely been H Rock. Oh. Gotta watch it though, these Roy hits definitely add up, especially when you're playing Jigglypuff. Oh my goodness. I was gonna <laughs> so say, yeah. Dude, 50 at the ledge is definitely death percentage for Puff against Roy. Easily, very easily. Dancing play, or a double edge dance will definitely do it. Get the hill, oh. Oh, good okay. timing on the upbeat. <laughs> well, I like you that don't, too. You don't oh. want to trade Nair in that situation. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. You know, we're all thinking it. We're all thinking it. Okay, fourth one. It's again, he did roll that time. He did, he did get caught, though. After it? Yeah. <laughs> H-Mark is doing a good job avoiding the point killing throw so far. Barely missing that one, though. The up air at the sweet spot, it hit. Back air. Woo! That's a shield break. Oh, oh that is it. Oh, bad DI. Yeah. Woo! I think he was... I think he's trying to drift after the aerial, so he's holding away, which unfortunately results in the, the worst DI possible. Nice job by Redline. Holy shit. Oh, I yeah. For sure, I for sure he was done um, after that game one. Like, it's just like, like he doesn't know the matchup. He's going to get whacked. So, like, that's, this is how it works sometimes. But he, he adjusted so well throughout that whole set. Uh, a lot of props there. I would have thrown him in after game one, honestly. Yeah, I was very impressed with uh, Redline. Um, especially when uh, you have a character like Roy, a lot of Roy players only know how to play in like that super aggressive type of fashion, you know? So when you play someone that's like baiting out your approaches and like punishing over aggressive options, it can fall apart. But I think it was good for Redline to kind of dial it back and play a more defensive mm -hmm. play style. Yeah, and, and so much of it revolved around the pound, I think. Like, game one, we saw the percentage of pounds hit and what they the damage they let into and the stocks they let into were enormous. Um, and, and I think Redline dealt with the pound very well. Uh, I think he did a good job keeping Hbox in the disadvantage. And he learned so fast, is, I think, is the biggest thing. Like, he blocked that first stock very early. Or not very early, but on, on a recovery to a Nair. And then he didn't get caught by that again off stage, uh, which is really important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Roy's another one of those characters that just doesn't have a super good recovery so if you don't like mix up the timing and the angle that you do your up b it's pretty easy to edge guard especially a character like jiggly puff we got yeah, yeah red line yeah congrats man that was a really well fought victory you were saying you adjusted so well that's my man wildfire oh that's my man's wildfire okay um he's a robin main from from uh boston area Look, I oh that. he's a new england guy he's a good player he puts a solid result you know Usually hovering around that top eight, if not better, maybe, you know, having an off day, it's still slightly worse. Top eight spot at, at our most back weekly, so uh, he's a very, very solid player. I think Robin does really well in Wi-Fi, honestly, too.